Hi guys, we're here and let's continue with our Mac. So let's go to Box Cutter and Box and click on this one, which is a line box. And we're going to switch to object mode. And let's cut some wedges here. So select this and cut some wedges. So if it doesn't work, press W. So how you do it is uh, you, you, you draw a line, you move your mouse, press E, extrude it down, and press W, and then shift to life. So, come on, there we go. And let's mirror this across. All right. And that will do, nice. And then, <coughs> gonna create two more in here so uh, the longer one so extrude extrude and bevel this bevel cannot be too dense yeah so let's reduce these you know the segments a bit that's not there we go that will do so shift to live and mirror this across and let's see how we're looking looking pretty good so should be all right it's a little bit too shallow in here so what I might do is grab this and move it a little bit up so somewhere here there we go so now it should work right Okay, so when I actually apply this, right, so I'm going to scroll toggle and operations, smart apply, and I can fix it here, so um, let's select this, accept this one, and remove the mark from these edges, and select, select, come on, select this and this here all round and up to here including this although this no this doesn't have to be selected all down to here and mark and now let's see the aftermath shall we yeah the bevel is too you know too strong so what we're gonna do is simply deep it down i mean sink it right sink it here and connect these two with J, so connect these two and connect these two and mark it and Bob Jonko. And if it's still too steep, I think what's going on here? Uh, it's probably double vert or something. Yep, there we go. That should do. And uh, these ones gonna be easy to to solve right and simply um, mirror this across so symmetry and there you go nice so that's sorted and we don't have to worry about anything else over there and let's move on to to the sides yeah so here um to these ones i was thinking to create some kind of like a canisters in here you know in the indentation so uh, grab a cylinder and you know move it in here and in fact um, don't do that one do this one how many verts is this uh, probably enough and definitely do this uh, because we need, you know, loopsies and 90 and scale it side view smaller, extrude it, and uh, let's grab it in here, kind of like this, and dip it in. So, dip it in here, and something like this, right? So, make a bit shorter and and uh, shift D and make it larger 
and difference and hide it and then we got this right so we can whoa we can play with this in fact before we start playing with it let's apply scale uh, oh come on products with them let's go here and check for this and uh let's make it smaller you know like this right and this should be in fact deeper you know although what we can do is make it really small and um, move it a little bit to the front so here right <coughs> And now grab this one, uh, not this one, this one, and select these t these two, and uh, EM macro. There you go. And then select this one. Come on, this one, and insert it a bit here. I mean, you know, move it back and uh, make this a bit larger. Insert it and scale it, insert it in, extrude it, insert it, and extrude it inside, okay, good, now let's grab the, <coughs> let's grab this cutter, and let's make it longer, so GY, let's make it longer, and then select it in this one here, and scale it, I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea, but it looks pretty cool, so before we do anything what we need to do is introduce some loops in here and if we can't do that it's gonna be a disaster so uh let's run a, an, an edge here so side view right and orthographic and then let's run an edge here c and run an edge right and then k here okay and c and run an edge here and combine it so remove c and drop it in here like this okay now what we need is loops here oh come on still angon where is this angon here seriously no oh right okay this one gotta go and what the hell happened in here? Why? How about we do this? Nope. What the hell? What is this caused by? Really? What on earth is going on here? Huh. Fascinating. How about this? There you go. That was strange. Okay, so now... <clears throat> We do need some loops in here, right? Oh, this is not gonna work. So we actually need to run them like this, okay? So, uh, K and K and, you know, K, all right? So now it should be better. And then we need some loops here. So let's run on here, K and K, all right? This should help. I think this could be a little bit to the right, so um, STG and move it here and EF, there we go, and this one too, GG, EF, come on, GG, EF, what the hell, it created a face, GG, EF, there we go, all right. And now we should be good here once I uh, drop the sharp and so mm, operations smart apply sharpen 
and fix this drama here. So we could actually remove this and connect it in here instead and remove this one. And this one is too close to the bevel. That's uh, right. And um, this one should run like this, to be honest. And there should be another loop in here uh, supporting this structure. And another loop in here. This one is probably too close. So remove it. This should be fine. This should be connected and we should be peachy ish. What's going on here? Ah, uh, this one. GG, move it a little bit outside. There we go. And still causing me grief. So, GG, and move it out. Better. Grief here. This one too close. GG, move it down. GG and move it down here and combine these two and uh, bollocks, I don't like this shading, this shading is garbage, yes, we need one more loop in here, There's no question about it, so let's run, run one more and I'm probably gonna delete this, you know, and do something like this, okay. Um, there's no way I can do it otherwise. Alright. Yeah, that's clean ish. Not clean yet, but it's clean ish. Yeah, this is a disaster here. So, we could remove this one too. It's gonna be better. Or not. Yeah, this one is just too big to, uh, you know. How about this? There you go, kind of. How about this? Okay, how about this? GG, move it in here. This is some kind of a drama here. What's going on? Combine these two. How are we doing? Awful. I remove this. This one is too close. Here. Nope. God damn it. Um, here. GG. And move it down. Uh, it's too close here, so combine these two. Of course, it's gonna be fucked. Um, of course, this is not gonna work. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Okay. And remove this one and then this one needs to be moved higher and combined here come on yeah so leave it like that it's fine okay so now let's go back and uh, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something outrageous which is uh, we could actually move this one outside, you know what? We could move one from here, like a cable or something. So... Um, we could extrude this, so scale it and extrude it. In fact... We could do this one, okay? So, GUI and move it in here, right? So, there you go something like this here this will work and Bob your uncle so now symmetrize this and um, mirror it across here yeah? <coughs> okay I'm gonna think about it later but something that this part I'm gonna leave clean uh, might you know insert some insert some details in here, but more or less gonna leave clean because first of all, 
we don't want to overload with details and two um this part needs to be quite integral and strong to support these massive pillars for the guns right so we don't want to overload the back um but we're going to focus a little bit on the front but you know later um i also i think this should be it for this video guys um this should be it you know this part is more or less kind of mid detailed and uh, we're going to fix in the next one I think the spine and then we're gonna move on to the top of the head and fix this, uh, these guns I'm probably gonna replace these uh, with something different but you know we'll think about it in a sec so anyway thanks for watching and catch you in the next video